What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about whether or not Fortnite is already dying despite its massive popularity. Now real quick, I know actually a lot of you guys have been asking me this uh, in my streams and on Twitter and stuff like that um, and people think for some reason that I don't like Fortnite because of the last video that I made and some a couple of things that I've mentioned in stream um, and that's not true at all. I love Fortnite. It's super fun. I just really wanted to poke fun at the Fortnite community. Um, so that's what that last video was all about. Uh, so I just want you guys to know that I do really, really, really enjoy this game. Like this game is more fun to me right now than Call of Duty World War 2 was even at its launch so I really am enjoying Fortnite I've been playing it a lot lately uh, and I'm starting to actually get pretty good which is which is exciting but I wanted to make a video and this video specifically uh, was sparked by a youtuber by the name of Optimus I think that's how you say it He's got about 40,000 uh, subscribers. I think his channel is growing pretty quickly right now. Um, he released a video a couple days ago titled, Is Fortnite Already Dying? And this was interesting to me because I thought about this already. I, I, I you know, I, if you guys don't know, I uh, did graduate from college with my bachelor's degree in business. And I really, because, you know, I have a business mind and I'm also really into video games. I like to see how the video game industry is and what it's doing and, and you know, the different trends. So when Fortnite exploded for, from my point of view, I was like, okay, this is very interesting. Like from a business point of view that it's free to play and their business model and things like that. And I thought like, you know, how long can this, can this continue? You know, is this just a spark, uh, you know, a, just a quick, quick spark and then everyone will go back to their other AAA titles or is Fortnite really going to gain some traction and it really depends on how they, you know, project. So I, I clicked the video and I watched it and I found that I, I, I think I disagree with a lot of the points uh, that he makes in this video. And, you know, he got a ton of thumbs up on the video, but he did get a decent amount of people uh, disliking the video as well. And, you know, I want to quickly say that it was it was a good video, right? And he's he's a great YouTuber for sure. Um, I've never seen any of his stuff before this, but I just want to make this video kind of as like a response to his video. And I'll, of course, link his original video in the description below. Um, and I wanted to kind of talk about some of the points that he made, right? And, and mostly what he said is that he feels like uh, Fortnite is going to die uh, sometime this year. It'll probably start to struggle and then over time it'll continue to die due to increased competition um he did admit uh you know a very interesting fact near the end of the video which i'll get into um, but i'm just gonna go into some of the details break down some of the bullet points so the first thing that he mentioned is that tilted towers unbalances the gameplay he said you know if you're dropping usually 50 people around 50 people in the entire lobby are dropping tilted towers um and he, he said that that breaks the gameplay a lot of people who've been playing fortnite for months now really preferred fortnite before tilted towers um and and you know he did say at the end of the video that they're that they uh, but mentioning the meteor basically the meteor in the sky uh, and how it's a conspiracy you know that people think tilted towers is going to be destroyed um and i want to quickly grab onto that fact um he kind of like brushed that off as speculation you know that oh this meteor is speculated to destroy tilted towers um i'm pretty sure that it's more than that i'm pr it, it's basically confirmed at this point um that something is going to happen to tilted towers right we don't know if it's going to be destroyed we don't know if it's going to be changed or or something like that maybe you know it, it just balanced who knows but we do know something's going to happen at the exact quadrant that tilted towers is uh, located at uh, not quadrant but uh, exact sector of the map um, just based off of the morse code vibrations of the controllers and things along those lines there's, there's tons of evidence to back up that something's happening with tilted towers i think that's pretty much set in stone now i, that, I definitely disagree that that is speculation that something's going to happen there especially because they know this right epic games knows that tilted towers is unbalancing the game right they're a huge you know they're a big developer they've, they've made tons of games in the past they understand that it's important to have balance in a game like this um and they know there's they have to do something about tilted towers right so tilt that that argument in itself that tilted towers is unbalancing the gameplay that i don't think is a good argument because they already are addressing that right and, and again i don't think this is speculation i very strongly feel like this is there's definitely a change coming to tilted towers uh, the next point that he makes is that there's a lot of glitches and errors that aren't even network based right you know there's things 
that are actually wrong with the game engine um actual problems with the game and he mentioned a couple of different ones specifically uh the weapon swapping glitch where if you're swapping between certain weapons or if you're swapping weapons too quickly or too repeatedly uh one of your weapons kind of freezes where you're standing at the time and then you can't uh use that weapon you have to either switch to your pickaxe or switch to the building and then back and um you know locking up your inventory stuff like that you know these glitches that aren't even network based right and we're going to talk about that in a little bit um and he also said you know you know he's like i understand that it's a beta but these glitches need to be fixed in order for the game to be fun and continue to grow which is a valid point um and i want to continue talking about some of the other glitches before i answer it because they all have the same answer right um the next thing he talked about is uh that it takes a week sometimes more for them to patch glitches uh and that it needs to be more consistent right that they need more staff to you know fix all these problems in the game because they keep adding content but it's taking them a week or more to fix these glitches um and then uh he, he also said that the game needs to have the smallest amount of bugs possible otherwise it's going to die and all three of these points right he made all three of these points and they're all very related right it's it's all about glitches and bugs and how long it's taken to fix the bugs and the fact that there needs to not be bugs right um and he did again he did admit like yes i understand it's beta but these things need to be addressed um and his solution it seemed to be was that they need more staff right that they need they need more people working on the game you know if, if they have more staff then they can release updates quicker and they can release updates with fewer glitches because maybe they can test them a little bit longer before they drop the the patch um and things along and things along those lines right and i agree with him that you know a game like this certainly does need to have few uh bugs right we need to um have as little bugs as possible as with any game of course that makes sense and that it's just ridiculous that it takes a week or more to fix and my 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 rebuttal to that right is that it's easy to say that epic games needs more staff right that's e that's easy you can say yeah you know guys hire more people we need more people right um, but what people don't understand is you know a company like epic right they first off they've already shrunken down the uh the development teams for other projects in order to focus on just the battle royale mode of fortnite right they pulled developers from other games that, that they that they have their hand on uh and they're just like hey we need you right because fortnite just exploded out of nowhere and they've already basically sent in the few reinforcements that they have and they need more and everybody knows they need more they know they need more and the problem with them needing more staff right is that it's not that easy right they're a they're a business and of course they have the money and that's the other thing he said you know i know they're making money off v bucks and yes they are they're making tons of money off of v bucks they're making triple a title levels of money off of a free to play game of course they've got the money for staff right they've got the money for staff and things like network uh issues the problem is that in order to work on a game like Fortnite, you need to have experience, right? You need to have experience. People need to be applying to Fortnite, right? These people aren't just, you can't just log in to some website and grab people. And then there's the hiring process, right? Sometimes it takes a month or more to get a new job, right? Um, you know, I'm sure they have people who want to work for them, but they still have to interview them. They have to do background checks. Those people also have to move to wherever to get the job at Epic. Um, there's payroll things have to happen, legal documents you have to sign, tax documents because Epic is a business and they have to report their employees to the federal government, and the state government. You know, there's a ton of things that go into hiring more staff. So it's easy to say, you know, hey, you know, you guys you're making all this money and you have all these glitches you know just hire more people right you need more people and it's like yeah they do they do and i'm i'm 100 sure they know this and that they're working on it but hiring more staff is not an easy thing from a business perspective there are many steps that they have to go through uh in order to get more staff and if it could be any faster they would try that they would do that right and that's why they've pulled people from their other projects because it's easier to just get people in house um because you don't have all those payroll issues you don't have all the tax uh, document issues you don't have you know having them sign up for your um getting them health care right there's a ton of things that go on behind the scenes to hire a new employee and um you know that's why they, they obviously pulled people from their other, other developments but you know again it's not as simple as just get more people right because again they're getting applications i'm sure they, they're probably hiring people right now but they all have to be qualified people not be, just because they're getting thousands of applications i presume uh to be working on on uh fortnite 
that doesn't mean all these people are even qualified to work on the game and you know you don't know what specific uh things these people know and then you've got to train people right you have to train them to actually be useful members of the team uh so there's just a ton that goes into fixing all of these bugs and glitches and i agree uh that they do need to be fixed in order for fortnite to not die um but the solution is a complex solution that requires time and i think um they are definitely i <laughs> it would they they have epic games has been on for a long time they know this they are working out i'm sure um so that addresses that issue and that's why i say you know that's not a good you know you can't bash them for that right because it just it can't happen overnight it's going to take time to hire the amount of staff and of course they don't want to overstaff right because what if the game dies in hype right what if the game just crashes in two months and then they've overstaffed people and they have to lay off so it's it's very scientific they have to do things a certain way um, and it can't be done any faster than that his next uh, issue that he mentioned was network issues right how the the he, he admitted right he admitted in the in the video that there's a huge server load and of course there's gonna be network issues when you have a huge influx of people um, especially with the launch of mobile right like it's just it's crazy and he admits that right he knows he understands that there are there's a huge server load right um, but he also was like you know the game is going down daily sometimes multiple times a day um, they need downtime to, to fix stuff and my rebuttal to this is what are you gonna do right uh, it, you want you want a, a perfectly functioning beta right i know you acknowledge that in your video but that that's not it's a legitimate excuse like it's legitimately in beta like it, it, what more do you want right it is a beta everybody knows it's a beta and it's a free to play beta for almost every platform except for android and nintendo switch right um it's a free to play beta uh and you're complaining about the server issues but then you're complaining that they're fixing the server issues by having downtime and that it goes down daily it's like and to be honest every time i jump on it's fine like my personal experience is that i can jump on and play every day i've never had a i've never had a problem right and that's because they they put these down times at like four in the morning when there's the lowest amount of players playing right so of course some people are going to be affected but they strategically do that to where that you know not everyone's affected when they get home from work or something like that you know so i this really you can't complain about there being server issues and then complain that they are fixing them all the time it's like you you have to have you know if one exists the other exists like they have to have it and personally i think they're doing a great job with the amount of time it's taking them to fix stuff right uh, another thing you mentioned is that they need more servers despite the huge increase in traffic and i agree they do need more servers i'm sure they know this i'm sure they're working on it but again just like the hiring more staff thing it's not that easy right there's a lot of of work that has to go into these servers in order to make them stable make them quality make them in sync with all the other servers put them in a good location um you know uploading all the information that's required for the server to run make sure that the servers have high enough security so that way they can't be hacked make sure that they're ddos resist you know and again i'm not like a, a network uh, a network administrator i don't know anything about that like i don't know the, the technical details but it's certainly more than just hey hey uh executive of epic games yes we need more servers can you just place the order on bestbuy.com for a couple more servers okay thank you okay we've got more servers like it's not that simple it's much more complicated than that and it takes time they can't over buy servers again they can't they don't want to buy too many because then if the game dies in two months now they've got all these servers that they have to sell or or whatever right and again that wouldn't be the worst problem in the world but it's something that they're considering as a business right they have to consider those things um so that's another thing it's not a great argument for why the game's dying right they know they need more servers it can only happen so quickly it's not as simple as just buying them and that's going to be fixed very soon uh upsetting the community with gameplay mechanic changes is something that they mentioned you know changing the rarity of the shotguns uh, adding the homing launcher etc you know and this thing i don't think this is a great excuse either right and and not because i disagree um the rarity of the shotgun change that's a stupid argument because you know really they didn't do anything they just changed the the color of it and just made it made the the uh the weaker shotgun more common which makes sense right you know more people are if you're one shotting with a with a gray pump shotgun and you're struggling to get kills with a green tactical shotgun maybe the green tactical shotgun should be common and the common pump should be green right so it, they just switched it that's not an argument you know i don't know if maybe he just didn't know that but whatever um the homing launcher i agree i think the homing launcher is overpowered um but 
my rebuttal to this right is that you know if you don't want fortnite to die and then you don't want them to change the gameplay at all one of those two things you know they go hand in hand right the game if the game gets stale the game dies and you're saying if they change it then you don't like it and then the game's gonna die like they are contradictory statements right so it's one or the other um and they because again this is a beta and you can't brush that under the rug you can't say that's not an excuse that is a huge part of why they are implementing these different gameplay changes right there are tons of weapons and traps and guns and, and items that were in fortnite before and they are no longer there why because they're experimenting with gameplay uh mechanics and why are they doing this say it with me now it's a beta so they're testing right they're testing these things the, who knows that maybe they're like you know a week from now they could remove the homing launcher because they're like yep it's overpowered we don't know how to balance it we're just going to remove it till we can fix it that's common for betas that's common for them to tweak things add remove things you know um so again this this is not a an argument for why the game's dying right it, it's a beta so you know them implementing random changes is inherent to the nature of the state of the game you know a beta has those changes that's what's gonna happen right so if you don't like it just wait for the full release that's the good news is that you can wait and not play fortnite right now and play it when it comes out officially and then there will be fewer gameplay mechanic changes okay let's move on to the next one uh changes implemented with little to no notice right he mentioned that in the video he's like you know sometimes these changes um you know with with bullets uh the way the bullets fire and, and accuracy and things like that they just come out of nowhere right it just drops in the community right he said that's a, that's a problem that they're, they're having right they're just dropping these changes on people uh and my argument to that is so does everyone else uh all other gaming uh you know uh, companies do this every game pretty much does this you know of course sometimes there are patch notes that say hey one week from now this is what's gonna happen and they have a whole list right um but i imagine for uh epic games right now their their offices probably look like that episode of spongebob where all the spongebobs in his head are running around everything's on fire there's paper everywhere everything's destroyed they're freaking out i imagine that's what epic looks like right now because they just are they were just bombarded with information right so again many games implement changes without telling anybody or telling you after the fact right that happens all the time and they have no obligation to you to tell you what's going to happen of course right that's their game they can do whatever they want a lot of times when uh you know an update comes to call of duty we don't know what guns are going to be nerfed or buffed until after it happens like that's been the way it's been forever uh and it's the same thing with fortnite of course they're gonna they're gonna change the game um and then release it and see how it does and you're not gonna know until it happens because it doesn't matter right like yeah you could say oh well they should tell us so i can in, uh, change my strategy uh so that way i know it's like it doesn't matter you're like it's not like there are some people who know before you and they're going to change their strats before you like no it, the whole community knows at the same time you don't need a you don't need a heads up because most other game companies don't give you heads up when they tweak things like that um another thing you mentioned is that the game isn't getting any new maps right they're they're putting in more skins and and you know they're adding stuff like the rocket launcher or homing launcher or whatever um and they're doing all this stuff but they're not getting you know new maps and i agree with this you know i think there does need to be some other maybe a different game modes not necessarily maps um uh, but you know if you look at like league of legends they have a few different game modes um they have i believe two or three different maps there might even be more i don't know they have that one single lane map and you know i think i think i agree with this there do need to be more maps but i don't think that the, it needs to be like call of duty where every game it's a different map like i think you should just pick one of like maybe three different game modes based on the type of game you want to have you know a fast paced quick game where you all drop and tilt the towers and it's you know a 50 man party or something or 50 man lobby versus the regular game now you know i don't think i don't think they need new maps every couple every two months right i don't think that's again they should they should implement these as tests to see if people like them and then when the beta's over the full game will have multiple maps i'm sure i'm sure of that i'm sure they will play with different game modes and experiment what people like and how what's going to be balanced and fun when the full game comes out maybe that'll have different game modes with different maps i think that's coming i do agree we do need more game modes with different maps but i don't think you know we need them now i don't think we need them every couple months um the map that we have right now is incredibly fun people still like it it's fine for now i think they have other priorities right now than adding more maps you know like fixing all the bugs that we talked about before um and then the final point that he made is interesting uh he said at the very end of the video 
Do I think Fortnite is dying? Well, it's still growing. He said it's still growing. He said the, the, the player base is still growing, the game is still growing. So, literally, at the end of the video, if you say the game is growing, it can't be dying. Because growing is the opposite, right? Uh, if you're dead, you don't keep growing. If a tree is dead, it doesn't keep growing. Except maybe some tree. I don't, I don't know. I'm not... Whatever. So, he says it's growing. So, at the end of the video, the whole video is pointless because at the end, he says, Nope. Despite all of this stuff that I just talked about for however many minutes, it's growing. And it's like, okay, so whatever. Like, you kind of just contradicted everything by saying the game is still growing. But he did say that, you know, it can't keep growing and that um, there's going to be increased competition, right? We got Black Ops 4 coming out. You know, there's going to be maybe eventually uh, a new Grand Theft Auto. We've got Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out. We've got all sorts of different games that can, you know, kind of steal back the players from Fortnite. And. I agree, but that is the biggest cop-out uh, answer ever, right? Saying, well, the game's not going to keep growing forever, and eventually people are going to play other things. It's like, okay, well, duh, uh, yeah, because no game lasts forever, right? You know, Call of Duty has been declining for years now. Is it dead? Technically, no. I mean, they still sell millions of dollars worth of Call of Duty merchandise and games and DLC every single year. The game's not dead, right? You know, the community might be shitty compared to how it used to be, but the game's not dead, right? Um, but eventually... All games stop growing because there's only a finite number of people on planet Earth. So there will never be a game that grows forever. So saying that, well, it's still growing, but eventually it'll stop growing and then it'll die. And it's like, okay, yes, all games eventually stop growing and die ever. There's no solution to that problem. So if that's the whole point of your video, then that was pretty much a useless video because all you did was complaining about different things uh that are happening in the game right now and then you say eventually the game's gonna die it's like yep that's how every game ever has ever happened yeah you nailed it <laughs> it's like okay that was a pointless video but anyway i just wanted to talk about fortnite because you know i really do enjoy the game and I think I have I am optimistic for Fortnite Fortnite. I think they are going to do great things with the game. Um, I think they are experienced enough experienced enough to know how to progress. Um, you know, they were smart enough to take the battle royale genre, which existed before Fortnite, right? I mean, you've got PUBG and a bunch of other ones, um, and really, really explode that genre. So they knew what they were doing. It was planned, right? They knew how to do this. Um, and you know the proof of that is that fortnite didn't even start as a battle royale game they just saw that it, an opportunity and they were like this is the exact formula that's going to blow up this genre and it, and it did so they clearly know what they're doing they're clearly experienced and um i think they're going to take that experience further and i think they're really going to make this game last right i don't think they're gonna have major mess ups like uh games like arc survival evolved or, or other um games that really you know pop off and are super popular on twitch and then they die right after i don't think fortnite's gonna be like that i think fortnite's more of, more in the realm of league of legends uh, and i think that's because fortnite has esports potential um and I, that might be a controversial statement but I'm going to make that a different video. I'm going to talk about the possibility of Fortnite being an esports game uh, in a different video because I have a lot of thoughts on that as well. And that I've, this video is already too long. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video. Comment down below telling me what you think about Fortnite. Do you think Fortnite is dying? If so, why? Uh, and, you know, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified the next time I upload. And that's been it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.